Hello everybody, this is Rave Road Dude Mar and this is Shovel Knight. And Yeah. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna do my best to 100 percent it, and we're gonna have a lot of fun, hopefully. I keep doing that. God damn. I'm not used to start uh working as the X button. As you can see, I'm using the PlayStation 3 controller. Shovel Knight actually supports it, which not many games do. Pretty fucking neat. Um. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate, when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed, and Shield Knight was gone. His spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. But without champions, the land was seized by a vile power the Enchantress, and her Order of No Quarter. Now, the tower is unsealed, and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. For Shovelry! Alright, I hope you guys don't, uh, mind me reading the cutscenes. If you guys don't like it, I can stop at any time. But I figure, you know, you... Wow. I always get hit on that enemy. I figure you guys would watch, you know, just like... A commentary-free walkthrough if you... Didn't want to hear my voice, so... Doing what I do best. Or... Not quite. I don't really do commentary best. But... That is beside the point. For those of you who have not heard of Shovel Knight before... Don't know how you stumble upon my video of it, but it is a action platformer, kind of in the vein of you know the Nintendo Entertainment System uh, action platformers like Castlevania, uh, Mega Man, Ducktales. This actually like moves straight out of Ducktales, except you can't bounce on the ground, only off of enemies. Such as that. Well, not that bubbles are enemies, I don't think they hurt you. But I digress, that's a checkpoint. Um, there is a little interesting bit of information about checkpoints that I'll show later, because in the tutorial, it's not something I can showcase. But yeah, I've played a little bit of this game, not an incredible amount. Um, played through the first level, Two or three times before this, um, mostly because my recordings kept getting all messed up. And then the first time was when the game released. I wanted to try it out, see if it would be good, make a series on. Turns out, maybe. I mean, it's something I'll probably play all the way through, so. It's me showing off that you can actually use your environment to kill enemies sometimes. And sometimes the environment will just kill enemies on its own. And I keep checking the walls because there are secrets, but I don't think that happens until after you find out that you can destroy walls. Good game design. Um, score is incredibly important because you can actually buy shit. Man, every time. Every time I've played this level, I've got hit by those uh, slimes because I'm so impatient. As you can see to the left, there's a little, uh, like, try to point it out. Like, right here, right where my, on my head level. Every time I've seen that particular texture, the wall has been destroyable. I'm not sure if that's always the case, but it, it seems like it has been. So, little bit of neat information. This will unlock your music 
like music from the game that you can listen to in like a soundboard type area. And it will also give you money after we beat this level. That's so pretty neat. Search for all those. Not super important, but if you want to 100% the game, then you kind of have to. I wonder if I can actually get that ruby without bouncing off the dragon's head. Um, I know you can jump, like, off of this, but it's probably not worth it. I was just, you know, trying to break the game, because that's the sort of stuff I do. My diamond. Um, give me my chicken. And give me all my money. I always destroy all these blocks, even though it doesn't give you that much money. But every little bit counts. And actually, um, I kind of struggle with the first boss of this stage. So, I'm not saying the game's incredibly difficult. I haven't actually got far enough to gauge how difficult it is, but... I've died quite a few times and I haven't really played more than an hour of this game. Or more than an hour into the game. Probably played about two hours, but that's just... You know, with recording failures and whatnot. Try to keep the videos, you know, kind of short, you know, like a level, maybe two per episode, just so you guys don't get uh, overburdened. And somehow I never get hit by this enemy. Those slimes in the earlier wall, I always get hit by them. I always forget that too. This is showing that even walls without that little mark and uh, be destroyed. So I'm usually pretty, uh, pretty intent on hitting every wall. I believe we're actually coming upon the, the boss of the stage. I think he's right after this checkpoint. Nope, not quite. We still have to finish this breaking, dude. Oh man, I've never died there. That's embarrassing. One more checkpoint till the boss. Getting a little bit ahead of myself. We'll get our money back. As you can see, when you die, you lose three bags of money. I'm not sure if that's like, if by retrieving those bags, you get all your money back. Those bubbles go by first. Oh, Jesus. It's not that hard, usually. Never died to one of these until, you know, just then, a couple seconds ago. Pretty embarrassing. And he just kills himself. Oh, nice. For me. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this bit. Shows off how there's, like... A foreground layer where enemies can hide behind. Pretty good game design. Throws it off before you actually uh, are in danger of being hurt by them. And look at that nice pink diamond gem thing. I don't I don't know most gem colors. Seems like purple's like amethyst or something. And red, ruby, blue is sapphire, but I only know those because of Pokemon. Green is emerald. But beyond that, I'm pretty much clueless. Earth stones and stuff, just never understood. And now we're coming on to the boss. Right after this next checkpoint, which I believe is in this screen. Yes. And he might actually kill me. Would not be unprecedented. 
I knew you'd show your face sooner or later, the cerulean coward. Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand, stand aside, Black Knight. I've no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time away has dulled your senses, can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress. And her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the Tower. But none of that matters, because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal thy shovel. Yeah, I suck at this boss. Not gonna sugarcoat it. Just because of this move, I... But, to me it looked like I hit him, but apparently not. Ooh. You can reflect that back at him. God. I'll show it off here if he does it. Wow, I did. That was the best I've ever done against him. Feat accomplished. You're fired. I don't know what that means. No, that's like the achievements. But I have no idea what I did to earn that. And now we have a little cinematic bit. And a, if you want to call it like a mini game, not really. Look at that, it's Shield Knight. How cute. Power. I wonder if you get like an achievement or something if you hit her with your shovel instead. A little dream sequence. Uh, I'm gonna show this off too. You can dig up your fire, usually get an achievement, but I already got it. And here we can see the overworld. It is a Super Mario Bros. 3 esque overworld. And actually, like, if you ever played Super Mario Bros. 3, you probably know that there's, like, those little dudes who roam the overworld, the Hammer Brothers. If you run into them, you get a little minigame. Those exist in this, too. It's pretty cool. No weapons. We have enough to worry about lately without everyone swinging swords around. <laughs> That's no weapon, just a shovel. You may enter, then. And don't forget. Press up to talk to everyone. Alright. Only really here to show off a couple things. Well, and because you have to be here. Like you can't just skip by this. Um, this is the dude you give your music sheets, and he'll give you some money, and let you listen to the music if you want. Which I'm not gonna do, because I don't really care about the music that much. I mean, it's great music, but I feel like I'm doing this series to show off the gameplay, not the music. Um, you bring her idols, or relics, relics, and, uh, you upgrade your magic, which you haven't seen yet. Bring him food cards, food tickets, I think that's what it's called. He'll take it, that's it. And he'll upgrade your maximum health. Okay. Bring him the meal tickets and he'll cook me a meal. There we go. Extra life. Ooh. I almost left that one there. Two extra life points. Really useful. Down here you can, like, there's a lady who will tell you how many times you've died, how many, uh, how much money you've had cumulatively. Yes, I'm Shovel Knight. Look at that. I'm Shovel Knight. Holy shit. Alright, this lady... No, no, turn around. This way. You need her to get up here, that scroll, or not scroll, but uh, music sheet. What is this guy want? Okay, not important. Almost no one here is important. Mostly just upgrading magic, upgrade your health, and, you know, turn in your sheets, music sheets. Um, I feel like this is a good place to end it off. 
just because I don't want to have the video too long or anything. So yeah, um, if you enjoyed this video, you know, maybe give it a like um, or comment if you didn't enjoy it. Subscribe if you're not, if you want. I'm, I'm not your boss. Don't have to listen to me, but yeah, I'll see you guys some other time with more Shovel Knight. Thanks for watching.